Tesla is a huge name in terms of battery production. Hence, the pressure on them to come out with a better product has led them to bring out a new battery. This battery shall be produced by them in collaboration with the automotive company BYD. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. With EV becoming the new type of vehicle all automotive companies are investing their resources on, the demand for batteries to run these EVs is on the rise. In fact, it's pretty evident that as time passes by, these batteries will become scarce. Due to this reason, EV manufacturers are hoarding these batteries before their competitors go rampage over them. Tesla likes to make its parts and components in-house as it tends to be cheaper, allows them to use their own technology, as well as gain government incentives. Tesla plans to produce these batteries chemically and declare this advancement to the public during its third quarterly report for 2021. But sadly, they too are prey to this battery shortage as of now. Earlier this year, Tesla stated that they would be shifting to utilizing lithium iron phosphate batteries instead of cobalt, which we must say worked well with the cathode of the battery. Cobalt is known to be quite toxic to produce and derive and mainly comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where human labor is misused. Keeping these factors in mind, Tesla chose to use nickel over cobalt as nickel comes with a cheaper production cost. The only shortcoming of using nickel instead of cobalt is that the battery will produce a lower amount of energy, which in turn means that it can cover a lesser range. To overcome these dilemmas, Elon has decided to look into using LFB batteries as they seem to be holistically more beneficial than the other options Tesla has placed in front of him. However, Tesla still isn't yet ready to get rid of cobalt and will continue to use it in their bigger and more expensive models. Back to the LFP batteries, they are already being used to produce Tesla's standard range cars and are currently being manufactured in Shanghai. So when this news was out, many were curious to know which producer of LFP batteries was Tesla going to collaborate with. Two strong household names were competing for this deal with Tesla. One of these companies was CatL, while the other was BYD. But then again, Tesla is known to work with locally produced parts and how they would be integrating this with regard to their battery situation is something that everyone was asking questions about. Due to this reason, Elon Musk has partnered up with the famous Chinese automotive company BYD. BYD was not always an EV manufacturer, but in fact was a mobile manufacturer when it started out its business. It was only later on that BYD delved into working on EV production and energy storage. Apart from BYD having ties with Elon Musk, the company also has ties with another American billionaire, Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is an investor in this company that makes this company a stronger competitor amongst the rest of the contenders in the industry. Though BYD is a great competitor of Tesla, their collaboration seems like the best thing to ever happen as it would benefit both Tesla and BYD by a large magnitude. With BYD coming up with their new blade LFP battery in 2020, this collaboration seems all the more prosperous. This LFP battery is said to be one of the safest batteries in the market at the moment and comes with a decreased proneness to thermal runaway. BYD was generous enough to not only produce these batteries for itself, but also sell them to other automotive companies worldwide. Apart from the safety factor being a major advantage of this blade battery, it being compact is another bonus that comes along with it. The cells of this battery are arranged in arrays before placing them into the battery pack. This arrangement has helped the battery reduce its size by 50%. The blade battery is extremely flat when compared to the box-shaped battery pack that's normally used. Back to the safety aspect of the blade battery. The tests to guarantee this aspect of it included the nail penetration tests, whose results showcased that they would not face any sort of thermal runaway. Furthermore, as soon as the results of these tests were out, the battery was used in the Han EV. Elon is clearly impressed by this battery and as a result has allegedly ordered 10 gigawatt hours of battery from BYD. This means that 200,050 kilowatt hour batteries can be used by Elon for Tesla's vehicles. In addition to this, the Chinese media have stated that Tesla is in the C sampling stage of the blade batteries, which they are expected to install in their Y model vehicles. Therefore, these batteries are expected to be aiding Tesla cars on the road by 2022. With this collaboration, BYD clearly has shifted from competition on a domestic level to an international level. Though Elon may not consider it a personal threat, Tesla investors surely would. This blade battery is very similar to Tesla's 4680 battery in terms of the cell-to-pack configuration. 
but the energy density of the BYD cell is way better than what CatL was offering Tesla by 24 kilowatt hours. All in all, these batteries would take up less space, reduce the weight of the vehicle, boost energy efficiency levels, along with being structural in nature. Thus, they would be great for the Model 3. This new 4680 battery that Tesla has come up with is just getting some final touches done to it before which it would be ready for sale. The only shortcoming that Tesla is facing with regard to this battery is that the number of batteries they are currently producing is not enough. That's when BYD came into the picture and saved the day. But another shortcoming that comes with this collaboration is that Tesla would not be able to grab the latest incentive set by the Biden administration. The rule states that a company can only avail of these incentives if all its parts are manufactured locally or in America. PYD has a factory in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, but it's quite small. It'll surely expand as Tesla's battery needs increase. Once Tesla can count on their 4 to 680 batteries, they will shift to manufacturing their batteries in-house. With that being said, do drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and turn your post notifications on. See you soon!